everyone, it's Charlton. Please subscribe to my channel, tap that notification bell, and like this video. That does help me keep making videos, and I would appreciate it majorly. So um, I'm going to show you putting the two, uh, putting a toilet together, basically. But just putting the two halves together, and then I'm going to drop it, too, at the same time. But I already showed the video about, uh, you know, changing the wax O-ring, and I ended up using... The, uh, the no wax rubber ring in the last video that I did on toilets. And I'm actually using the same thing in this case. So let me quickly go show you that. But I've already kind of got it all set up, tested things out at the, at the flange to make sure I'll be good once I put the toilet together and drop it. But like, uh, like I said in one of my other videos, every situation is different. And it's always you just have little, you know, little things to overcome. But, you know, no big deal. So um, let me show you the flange real quick just before I get to putting the toilet together very quickly just so you know what I'm facing. So there's the, uh, the flange that I'm going to be dropping the toilet on. It's a pretty tight spot. That's the reason I'm using the same toilet that came with the home. And, uh, but it's a toilet. It shouldn't have any problem. I'm not changing the fill valve and the flush valve. If there's a problem with that, then I will have to, but I'm, I'm going to go ahead and leave those in there. I prefer not to overcomplicate the situation and try to, you know, be, be a superhero. So, because I think they probably work just fine. But what's interesting is that in this case, before in the last home, when I was showing you changing the, uh, the wax O-ring and I ended up using the no wax rubber ring, um, in that situation, the flange was a little bit raised, which actually was causing problems. In this case, it's the opposite. So I am actually going to end up using this filler, um, you know, and then putting the wax, the, the, the no wax ring over top of it. I've already dropped the toilet on there, and it fits pretty good on there. With just a li it's raised up just a tad, and I may have to shim it a little bit, but it's in good shape because this wax not wax. This filler actually is, um, you know, got some, some give to it. And when you tighten it down, it, it brings it a little closer to the floor without going too tight. It's, uh, it's PVC, but it's got like, you know, a steel flange attached to the PVC. So you can tighten it a little bit. I warned about over tightening that. So, but I've already tried this. I think I should be good. And this is actually a three inch opening. You know, I was saying before, there's some that are three and some that are four. That's a three. Like if you have a toilet in the house that seems to be, you know, the toilet that clogs and then another toilet where that doesn't clog that everyone uses, you know, so it doesn't clog. Um, typically, that's the four inch drain versus the three inch drain. Not always, but all right, I'll show you putting the two toilet halves together. Let's do it. Let me super quick kind of just go over the parts that I'm going to be using. And uh, I ended up looking at maybe three different ones before I decided on one. I thought maybe I got the wrong one. I didn't, though. I think I'm good. Um, but every situation is always different. You know, nothing it perfectly fits exactly what you need, you know, and you just have to do the best with what's, what's available. All right, so I'm going to turn the camera around and show you the various parts that I'm going to use and quickly go over some of the parts of the toilet. Super quick. Okay, so I got the uh, the bolt the bolt bolt and extra thick gasket kit. All right, this had three five sixteenths uh, by three inch bolts, which is these right here. There's three of them. I only need two, and there was one with two, but actually the one with two didn't have uh, the kind of uh, gasket I liked, which was this one right here. This one has kind of like it fits around that nut right there, which you literally have to stretch to fit right around it, and it fits around it perfectly when you do, you know? I'll show you when I put it on. In fact, a guy on YouTube, excuse me, a guy on YouTube showed me that. I forget him already, but um, he was absolutely right, and now I see what he means. It fits right over there, but you have to pull it, and don't, you don't just put it on there and, and be happy with it. You actually have to make sure it's on there, you know, snug and properly, and fit, the, fit these, you know, notches up with, with these. The one that had two gaskets, I'm um, sorry, two two bolts was just a flat, flat, um, flat there, you know. It didn't have this recessed portion to fit over that giant uh, sort of plastic hex in it, as best as I can remember. I didn't even get it, you know. But I don't need all three, I just need two. Some have, some have three bolts, you know, three, three, t three portions to screw into the tank. Others have two. 
mine has two. So I uh, just will use two out of three, no big deal. And the, uh, this is, this is the flush valve, you know, and this is your flapper down here, and this is the fill valve. And that's just what those things are called. They you buy them separately or all as one giant kit together. But I didn't, I'm not replacing them, and I think I should be just fine. If not, I will end up replacing them. Let me, uh, let me stop for a second, I'll, and then I'll show you what you do to do that. So I did forget to mention that the size of the gasket is critical. This is a two inch, or according to the packaging, a two and, a, two and an eighth inch in terms of the inner diameter. I think the outer diameter is three and a half inch. But that's gonna be critical for your toilet. Some are bigger. I mean, this one that I actually bought too was uh, measures about uh, uh, two and three eighths inch. I assume it fits over a two and a half inch opening. You know, I'm not taking out of the package, taking that out of the packaging because I'm, I'm returning it. It's not right for my toilet. But this is critical. So, and this one actually, I think I already mentioned, has kind of that perfect uh, hexanot recessed portion that I, I like and I'm gonna wrap it around there when I show you when I when I get to it I'll, I'll show you it fits on there really really perfectly then uh, you know these th this is the you know the bolts is what's gonna secure it to the bottom half of the toilet and you do have to put these on in a very specific you know sequence you have to put bolt then metal washer then rubber washer on the interior of here okay and that's what it looks like after it's done. I haven't tightened that up real good. And then on this side, I saw, you know, a couple different people had different opinions on, you know, um, uh, one guy just said you need a metal washer in the hexanot, which I believe is, is just fine. I mean, basically, if there's going to be leaking, it'll come from the other side to have a second rubber washer there to prevent the leaking in case the first rubber washer leaks sort of is um, just a redundancy, but in any event, and also I do think that this will, without the rubber washer, will allow it to tighten properly. You know, otherwise you have just kind of two rubber washers sandwiched in there, and when you tighten it, you're just not, you're not, you're not getting the tight, tightness out of it that you need because of the second rubber washer. Whatever, um, I think either way would be fine, but I'm doing it that way. And, uh, you know, that's pretty much it. And then you're going to attach that. Once you've done that on both ones, both sides, you're going to attach that to the bottom half of the toilet. And you'll do that just by, um, this will be sticking through one of those holes on the uh, over here. And you're just going to attach, do a, a similar setup, a rubber washer, uh, a metal washer, and then the hexanut. I mean, mostly the, you know, the, the metal washer will stop um, you know, so that the hexanut doesn't dig right through the rubber washer. And the rubber washer protects the porcelain so that you don't, you know, break it or chip it and so forth, you know, even though you're not using one there. So, anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and put it together. If there's anything else that, uh, you know, I think I missed, I'll let you know and we'll see how it goes. And you really, you know, you do it, you won't know until you get it on there and then you find out if you did something wrong and it leaks or whatever. Or, uh, but we'll cross that bridge. When I come to it, all right, let me get to it. Okay, so I'm also gonna show you, cause I can just put that camera, the phone right there and show you exactly how this kind of wraps right around it. You almost have this, this shape that's just like the hexanut on there and you kind of want to just line them up with it so it fits on just right. But initially when I went to put it on, I'm like, it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit, but it does and it fits perfectly when you, uh, when you get it on there. You just have to line it up and then Kind of slowly pull it around. It's a little tricky, but I mean, believe me, it fits on there. And now it's on there really snug, you know. It's really good. So it won't leak from there. Now I got them, uh, you know, I got both on there, but they're not tight and you have to, obviously you have to hold, uh, you know, one side uh, while you tighten the other. A nice big screwdriver should do it. And uh, that's probably how I'll kind of do my tightening with the screwdriver rather than
when I tighten it tight, but I don't want to go too crazy. You know, you believe me, you'll break, you'll break that porcelain. Tighten it pretty tight. I think that's good enough. Now I'm going to put the top half uh, and secure it to the bottom half. I already have my hex nut and metal washer and rubber washer set up on each side. You know, when you go to place it on the toilet, you want to be careful. It doesn't just rest there when you once you get it on there, right? Um, so you got to hold it in place as you go down and grab your rubber washer, then your metal washer, then your hex nut, and get each side attached so that it won't fall off. And you get it up there so that it's, um, you know, uh, in place and secure for the moment. And then you tighten each side so that uh, it's uniform, you know, uniformly tighten on both sides. And it does, it's not tilting. It's not too tight on one side versus the other. But you just want to exercise some caution as you, you know, as you put it in place. And you may even, after a couple different tries, like I've already done, kind of just... I bought in there like that, but you have to hold it, you know, and then uh, and then screw it, screw it in place. So, rubber washer. Actually, shoot, metal washer. I do that at the same time. That'll fall though, so you gotta be careful and you don't wanna, you know, you don't wanna ruin your toilet after you just went all through the hassle of changing it, fixing it. All right, so now I'm like sort of laying down underneath uh, the back of the toilet and I'll just go from side to side and tighten that up, you know. Um, it's a little it's a little bit precarious though, you know, you're kind of in a weird spot. I use a pair of pliers, put it on that, you know, that second setting so that it's spread like that and you can reach up over the hex and not like that, and then twist a little bit on each side. And you're gonna, you know, I'll literally tighten this side some, and then I'll flip around and do the other side so that you're doing it, you know, sort of uniformly until it's until it's quite tight, you know? You don't wanna break the toilet and go too tight, but you will you should know uh, when, it's, when it's nice and snug. You can lift up on the bowl and, you know, lift it forward and tighten it with your fingers as much as you can before you go through this. But, you know, you do have to do this at some point and go from side to side and just, you know, I mean, just like that, you know? And then I'll go to the other side and do that side. And I won't do, I won't do one side too much and before going to the next side. There's a tiny bit of play to that and but I think it's tight enough I mean if you I'll show you if you look inside the um, that gasket seems to be very tight and uh, the bolt washers underneath are um, displaying that it's very tight so I'm not going to keep just going and going and going I think it's I think it's an I think it's a water tight seal basically and uh, let me just show you a couple things that's that gasket it's pretty tight and um, you know these rubber washers are now um, you know they're 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 I wouldn't say busting through but they're definitely I don't want to just keep typing and tightening because it'll, it'll rip those and they're just meant to protect the porcelain but you can see it's it should be tight you know but it moves just a tiny bit should be fine. I just don't want to have to get it on there and then, um, you know, turn the water on and, and there's a leak. That's just how it goes. All right, I've got the toilet in place. I'm going to drop it right now. One more time, just a warning. Just, I'm not recommending you do this at home. This is just for educational purposes. Just showing you what I do, some of the activities I do in my job. But this toilet's very heavy and, you know, uh, you could hurt yourself, so don't do it. Don't try it on your own. It's just for educational purposes. Okay. 
I'm on there. You know, it's it's definitely a little wobbly. I'm gonna have to shim that and uh, and tighten it up. The nuts will push that spacer, that thing's uh, foam type spacer, or push it down. I'll need to shim it a little bit, but I think I should be okay. Okay, I'm going to uh, turn the water on and see uh, see if it leaks. You know, this is um, this is uh, this is it. And I'll kind of point this right in there to see if there's any leaking. That's where it should come from. It's actually leaking a little bit and my fill valve is, I think, bad, which I got to replace, which is a bummer, you know, but that's life. You can uh, see the, the drop. I don't know if you can hear, but the fill valve continues to just run very quietly, but it's running. So that's, that's bad. But, and I can't tell, I'm gonna tighten that up. I can't tell from, I can't get in there to see, hopefully I can see it on video. Um, if that side's not, I have a feeling it's not because uh, that side was, I was fear, worried it was too tight. I was able to get that one side to stop leaking. Basically just had to tighten it up on it and you have to just reach in there with a needle, a pair of needle nose pliers possibly. That was easy enough or, or one, you know, the exact size wrench fits in there like so. And, uh, you know, um, and just hold it in place while you tighten up with a screwdriver from the other end. You kind of have to use both hands, etc. And I did both sides just to be sure. Uh, maybe I could have used another raw washer like uh, like the guy on YouTube said, but I don't know about that either because I've had to tighten it so much. I kind of need the one firm side um, to get my force against, but I don't know. I think there's cone ones that actually exist, cone rubber washer ones that go down into the hole a little bit from, from, from the top side. That may be uh, maybe for the future. I thought I saw that described somewhere as well. I'm going to change the fill valve and give it a new flapper and wrap it up. This is me. While I was here, I was looking for the sort of cone-shaped, you know, washers instead of instead of this kind. I don't see them, and I think maybe you'd have to get them out of Supply House. the uh, The video I saw was a specific plumbing company, and it was their product. So, all right, I am finished finally. So I have the new uh, fill valve in there, and. Um, I kept the same flapper because I put a new flapper in there. Not that same kind, but and it stuck. So uh, we'll just flush it and check to see if it leaks. It doesn't leak though. Right, and um, underneath here, uh, that looks pretty good. No leaking, and I'm assuming there's no leaking there. I'm nearly certain there is, and that's done. All right, thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Later, man.